Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we're bringing you all along for a couple of days of mobile home living here at our new homestead. We're cooking and cleaning, and we even built a new mailbox post. So if you're interested in what we've been up to the past few days, then I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're all having the best day ever. It's starting to feel like fall here in the Virginia mountains, especially in the evenings when the sun goes down. The trees are starting to change colors, and there's a crispness in the early morning air. I love fall, and I can't wait to spend our first fall here in our new home. It's a beautiful day, so we decided to head outside to take care of a couple of outdoor projects. Today, we're building a new mailbox post for us and our neighbor. The two mailbox posts that were already in place when we moved in are falling down, so we decided to go ahead and build a post that will support two mailboxes.
can't believe summer is already over, y'all. It flew by so fast. In fact, the whole past year has just flown by. When I was a little girl, it always felt like time stood still, but now time seems to just fly by in the blink of an eye. I guess we've just been so busy raising our boys, taking care of Granny, and renovating this old trailer that we lost all track of time. We have a few very important projects that we need to get started on before winter gets here. The main project is refurbishing the old wood stove that's in the trailer, and we want to install the pellet stove in the addition. We would prefer to heat the house solely with wood this winter, but the wood stove needs a lot of work. There was a leak in the ceiling above the wood stove, so now it's all rusty and will need to be sanded and painted. And we need someone to cut out the ceiling and new metal roof for the chimney. We've also been trying to find someone to hang drywall for us. We would love to have three of the five bedrooms drywalled before winter gets here, but we haven't had much luck finding anyone. We've been a little stressed out and overwhelmed, and even though we have a hundred projects to finish, we decided to go ahead and build the mailbox post today, so that way we can at least mark one thing off our to-do list. No, really, the new mailbox was kind of important. I went to check the mail the other day, and the whole mailbox just fell off and hit the ground, and the neighbor's mailbox is sitting crooked on the post, so it's definitely time for a new one. Here we are at the end of the driveway to install the mailbox post. This will be a two day project. Today's goal will be to get the old mailboxes out of the way and to dig a hole for the new post. Once the post is in place, then Tim will dump two bags of concrete mix into the hole around the post 
and we'll let the concrete dry overnight. Tomorrow we will install the new mailboxes. y'all the mailbox post is set in place but we'll need to wait for the cement to dry overnight before we're ready to install the mailboxes so in the meantime i'm going to head back up to the house to take care of a few chores before it's time to start dinner i need to straighten up the front porch and clean up my kitchen I'm so in love with my new hummingbird feeders. Tim and I were sitting on the front porch the other day and we must have seen at least three different hummingbirds come and drink from the feeder. When they were finished drinking the nectar, they flew right through the porch where we were sitting and out the other side towards the trees. They were such a beautiful sight to see. All right, y'all. To clean up the front porch, I need to wipe down the tables, water the plants, and sweep the floor. Once I finish out here on the porch, then I'll head inside to the kitchen.
I could sit and relax outside on the front porch the rest of the day and not even feel a little bit guilty about it. But unfortunately, the kitchen isn't going to clean itself. So I'm headed inside to get it cleaned up. I need to finish putting away the groceries. I need to clean off the counters, sweep, mop, and put away the clean dishes. This is not the original 1975 mobile home kitchen. It's actually part of the addition. It's a pretty big kitchen and I can't wait to remodel it. It's going to be a big renovation. We plan to completely gut the kitchen right down to the studs and floor joists, but that's still a long way off. Thankfully, it's a functioning kitchen, so there's no rush to get it finished. We want to finish the bedrooms and living room first. Right now, we have the boys camped out in the living room, and Granny is set up in the fifth bedroom. So the sooner the bedrooms are renovated, the better. I wish we could spend every waking moment working on the renovations, but life is pretty busy at the moment. Raising three teenage boys and caring for Granny takes up a lot of our time, so we aren't able to focus as much attention on the renovations as we would like. I would also like to be able to upload more videos for you all to enjoy on a regularly scheduled basis. But life is so unpredictable at the moment, so I'm just happy when I'm able to post at least one video per week. I just want to thank you all for your support and understanding while we're all going through this transition period. Hopefully things will start to settle down around here and we can get into a better daily routine. But in the meantime, life still goes on, and that means that I still have to clean the kitchen and make dinner for my family. So if you're ready, let's just get into it.
I'm almost finished here in the kitchen. I just need to mop the floor. I finished cleaning the kitchen just in time to dirty it up again because it's almost time to start dinner. We spent most of the day building the mailbox post, so I got to my chores pretty late in the day. But hey, better late than never. I really need to invest in a better mop. This Swiffer mop isn't exactly cut out for this job. I've had a few of y'all suggest I buy a spin mop, so I think that's what I'll do. But first, I'm going to go ahead and finish mopping and take out the trash. And then I'll get dinner started. Tonight we're having a family favorite, chicken wings. So like I mentioned before, we're having chicken wings for dinner. It's a family favorite and they're pretty easy to make. I'm making two flavors tonight, honey garlic parmesan and honey barbecue. To get started, I'm lining two sheet pans with parchment paper and then after pat drying the chicken wings, I'll place them on the sheet pans. I took the wings out of the freezer last night and put them in the fridge so they would be thawed out when I was ready to cook them. So once they're dried off and laid out on the pans, then I'll season them with a homemade rub. This rub has Lowry seasoned salt, garlic powder, lemon pepper, smoked paprika, oregano, pepper, cumin, ginger, Italian seasonings, rosemary, thyme, and basil. I season the wings on both sides and then I'll bake them in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until they reach an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit.
The wings are all ready to go in the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and start the sauces. I'll be making honey garlic parmesan and honey barbecue. Both of the sauces call for minced garlic, so I'm going to get started by sauteing some garlic and a little olive oil in two pots. Once the garlic is ready, I'll then add honey and black pepper to one pot and barbecue sauce, honey, and brown sugar to the other pot. I'll then let the sauces simmer for about 20 minutes while the chicken is baking in the oven. We're also having creamed spinach and raw carrots with the chicken wings. So while they're cooking, I'll go ahead and prepare the side dishes. This is a super quick and easy meal to prepare and clean up as a breeze. These are my go-to meals, especially on days when we have other projects going on around the house. All right, y'all, let's get this dinner started. Dinner's almost ready, y'all. The chicken was in the oven for approximately 20 minutes, and they're cooked perfectly. I'm going to transfer them into two bowls, and then I'll pour the sauces over the wings. Once I'm ready to serve them, then I'll sprinkle the honey garlic wings with the shredded Parmesan. All right, I'm going to get this served up, and then we'll be ready to eat dinner.
Dinner sure was delicious, y'all. I tell you what, we sure do love those chicken wings. But my kids are starting to ask for different flavors. So I'll have to see what I can come up with the next time we have wings. Well, now it's bright and early the next day. And we're going to finish installing the new mailboxes. But first, I'd like to mow the grass. Tim bought us our first ever riding lawn mower. It's a lot like the mower I used back at the trailer park. It's a zero point mower and I love it. It definitely makes mowing grass more fun and less mundane, that's for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and mow some grass, and when Tim gets home, we're going to go finish installing the mailboxes. Tim is back home, so now we're ready to finish installing the mailboxes. We need to attach the mailboxes to the post, and Tim needs to cut a little off the top of the post because it's a bit too tall. Then we'll add a light to the post, and then we'll be finished for the day. I want to eventually landscape around the mailbox and on both sides of the driveway, but that will have to wait for another day.
googled examples of double mailbox posts online to get an idea of how we should build it, and so far it's just like we imagined. We just need to decide if we want to stain it, paint it, or leave the post natural, but so far I'm very happy with how the post turned out. At least now, I don't have to worry about the mailbox falling off the post anymore. Well y'all, that's about it for another video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope you all have a great day, and I can't wait to talk to you in my next video. I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.